So, this is one thing I did want to bring up. So, a lot of people know why we're in this AMC movement. And there's people that call themselves apes and whatnot, right? But a lot of people are in this movement to pretty much, like they say, try to stick it to the, the hedge funds, right? And these people that have been scamming people, pretty much scamming people out of money in the market, manipulating the market so the poor, poor people get more poor. <laughs> Um, the people that are not wealthy or not millionaires, they keep them in that category of not being wealthy. But you know what I'm saying. Okay. Now, this is the thing that, that kind of bothers me on YouTube. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of investors that give advice on YouTube about uh, buying stock, investing in stock, and then there's some that are strictly about AMC. Now, this is stuff I hear since the whole time this thing started, right? I know people are, they get on YouTube and they're trying to make videos to try to get traffic drawn to their channel. And some people are there just to get views, right? And whatever topic is pretty much out in the world, they try to jump on that really quick and make a video real quick about it like amc and the short squeeze right or gamestop and all the rest of them clove um all the rest of them so people we're okay we're trying to accomplish something but there's a lot of people that sh pretty much show their hand and what i'm trying to say is they're we trying to accomplish a goal with this whole whole movement why why are we getting on youtube and i probably did some of this in the past but i try to stay away from it why are we getting on youtube saying what move we're going to do what are we going to do next when he, when we know that they're watching, that they're watching us. They're watching every move we make. They know our strategy. They know how we're gonna invest, when we're gonna invest. So why are we getting on YouTube and saying, okay, we're gonna invest this way. This is probably what you should do. Um, move your shares from, from this brokerage to the next brokerage. You know, like we're doing all these trying to do all these strategies, but we putting it out there and they, they gobbling it up. And they're wondering why the squeeze hasn't happened because they know our moves. So they're, they're taking all the information and they're using that in the system along with the um, algorithm to keep it, to keep the price down, to keep it at a certain area, a certain zone, right? But it's, it's working in a sense, but we're still gaining, from what I see, we're still gaining ground because the price is still dropping. And when the price is dropping, it's not a bad thing because people think that when the price drops, oh, we're losing money. Yes, you're losing money. But if you know, if you know in your mind, okay, this is like a squeeze play of a lot of squeeze plays. So something's bound to happen right so we just can't we just can't get out there and show our hand because they're using it against us um that's pretty much what i'm trying to say i gotta i gotta go unload this truck real quick and um but i'll get back with you guys and you know if you have a, a investing strategy you know um especially if you're like a big youtuber Try not to, don't let, don't show your hand, you know, like we got to find some other ways where we can let each other know what, like, what are we going to do? What are, what is our next move? Not let the whole world know what our move is because of course we're getting beat up. You see them, how the market is really beating us up. I mean, pe some people feel like they're getting beat up by the price, which I don't feel that way because I know, I know what, 
I know what the value is of that stock. I know what the value is of AMC. I know how much the average cost and how much is worth. So even if it goes back to the the IPO price when it opened up, when it first got to market, the I, IPO price, then that's good for me because I know what the price is now and I know what it can be if it reaches back to the IPO price. All right, guys, so I got to make another video. I got to go do this real quick and I'll see you in the next one.